this is my CD tower before I fill it up with perfumes to display. I got it from the local Goodwill. And when I went into Goodwill, I was looking for something to display perfume on. I was looking for like a bookshelf, but there wasn't a bookshelf, but I noticed the CD tower. And I thought, well, I mean, who's still buying CDs? I can use it for whatever I want to use it for. So again, this is how it looks before I put my perfumes on display. top portion I'm putting the perfumes I have that I don't have matching boxes for most of the time if I have a perfume I have the box if I don't have a box it's because it didn't come with the box which is the case for all of these this is 24 Fabor Eau de Toilette by Hermes it was sent to me by a subscriber and she didn't send it with the box she also sent me this Eau de Toilette for Poison Girl by Dior. And then B Layer sent me a few perfumes to try and feature in a video. This is the one I've kept for myself, Love Potion. The other perfumes they gave me, I gave to other people either because they asked for it or I just thought they would like it. The one that was vanilla scented, my niece loved it. I had one called Mia's Blend. My work study student loved it. And I have Dark Temptation, but I actually have it as a travel perfume. So I just have that separately. Then I have Oranger Eau de Parfum by Soli Notes. I'm actually gonna give this to my sister because she asked for it. One of my sisters was like, once I said it smells like orange peel, for some reason that really appealed to her. And she was like, I want it. And then this one doesn't even have a name on the bottle itself. This is by Squirts Aromatics. Now that I, I have to correct myself, it came with a sticker on it that says Squirts Aromatics. I don't actually like the name Squirts. It sounds like... So I didn't want that here in case someone ever came into my house and they were like, oh my God, Squirts. You know, I just didn't even want to start that. So I took the label off and I plan on painting it. That's the plan. We'll see if I actually stick to the plan. So this is what it looks like with perfumes, but the perfumes are still in the box. So these are the perfumes I plan on wearing this week. That's really the purpose of this display for me to just go ahead, plan my perfumes for the week so I don't have to be so last minute and stressed, I guess when I wake up in the morning and I get dressed and I'm like, oh, what am I wearing today? I just wanna go ahead and have that planned out. So I'll take these out of the box so you can see them and I'll explain why I'm wearing them this week. So here's all of the perfumes on display out of the box. Okay, so starting with this first perfume, this is Marc Jacobs Decadence. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. I'm off. So I'm also off of work Monday and Tuesday because here, this is our fall break. So the reason I'm wearing this on my off day is because this perfume is a bit off pitting. I don't think it's pleasing to a lot of people on my skin chemistry. For some reason, it reads a little pickly. <laughs> when I wear it, I've, I've smelled this on other people. I've smelled this on other people and it didn't read as pickly on them. On them, I smelled more of the plum. But on me, it's like white florals and pickle juice. <laughs> and you might think, well, why are you wearing that? Well, the first time I wore it was when I gave myself a little vacation last year. So now this has scent association for me. Every time I smell this, I just think I'm supposed to be on vacation. I'm supposed to be on holiday. So that's what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I'm on holiday from school. It'll be perfect for that. I won't really be around a lot of people. I'm not planning to be around a lot of people. And whoever I'm around when I go out, if I go somewhere, I don't really care if they like it. I'm wearing it for me. <laughs> then on Tuesday, I'm going to wear Ariana Grande Cloud. This one is more crowd pleasing. People like it. Um, but 
I just plan to wear it on Tuesday, even though I'm still off of work, just because it's pleasant and I'll enjoy wearing it, even if no one gets to smell it on me. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people have been saying that between Cloud and Cloud 2.0, this one smells more synthetic. Oddly enough, it's the opposite for me. Cloud 2.0, when I sprayed it on me at Ulta, was it the opening was very much more synthetic and chemically for me and i think my nose may go anosmic to it because i just don't smell it as long but when i wear this layered on top of i think dahlia by bath and body works it smells really nice and it lasts a long time on me wednesday i am going to wear a combination of midnight fantasy by britney spears and the Roberto Cavalli Signature Perfume. I have been wearing these together exclusively anytime I wear one of these. I have yet to wear Midnight Fantasy on its own or Roberto Cavalli on its own, except the one time I tried to when I first got this. Both of these I got for a really good deal at Ross Dress for Less. And when I decluttered my collection in preparation for moving here to Indiana, I got rid of every Britney Spears perfume except Midnight Fantasy because of how good it smells when I layer it with Roberto Cavalli Signature Perfume. It is effervescent. <laughs> it is just ultra pretty, feminine, but grown without being overly matured. I don't think I get compliments on this, but I pay attention to people's faces when I wear this. Whenever I'm wearing this and I'm sitting by someone, they tend to just kind of slowly look over and give me this odd look like they're trying to figure something out. And I think what they're trying to figure out <laughs> is my scent. And I don't, I think they are confused <laughs> about if they like it or not, but I love it. I love these two together. If I had to just wear something every day, right now, my frame of mind, I would wear these two together every single day. If you've ever had, um, I can't remember it. It's a Bath and Body Works perfume that this one smells a lot like, and I can't remember the name of it. I put it up on the screen in words, but that's what drew me to it when I saw it in Ross Dress for Less. The fact that reviews said it smelled a lot like that perfume, and I used to own that perfume. And then with the Roberto Cavalli perfume, when I saw this on sale at Ross for $10 and I looked it up, a lot of the reviews on Fragrantica said that people who like this also like Alien. They also like Jean-Paul Gaultier. A lot of people were saying it smells a lot like a Jean-Paul Gaultier perfume. And I've always wanted to get my nose on Jean-Paul Gaultier, but I have yet to do so. So I was like, well, I'll just get this. And when I initially sprayed it on myself, it almost had like a nothing effect on me. Like, I don't smell anything. It's not doing anything. And at first I was just kind of like, well, this kind of sucked. But then when I blended these two together, for some reason, it worked. It just worked really well. So again, this combination is what I wear on Wednesday. On Thursday, I'm going to wear Gucci Bloom Profumo di Fiori. So usually with Gucci Bloom, Either Gucci Bloom perfume, every, one I've seen, every single one I've tried seems to not really last on me on its own. I usually have to layer it with some other perfume or layer it with a lotion that has similar notes. But recently it got a new body cream and I mentioned it in a previous video. I'll put a card up here for you to go to that video. And it's at the end of the video if you wanna skip ahead. But that body cream just makes things last longer on me. The perfumes that just usually don't last that long, laid on top of that body cream, they last longer. And what I love about it is the body cream is unscented. So I'm not having to figure out if the perfume will actually work with the scent of the lotion or the body cream because it has no scent. So I'm so glad be happy <laughs> I added that body cream to my collection of moisturizers because now I have something neutral that still makes some of my perfumes last longer. And then on Friday, I'm going to wear Coco Eau de Parfum by Chanel. This is a perfume in my collection. I would say it doesn't get a lot of compliments, but it actually does. Um, I've noticed little kids love this on me, like toddlers. 
for some reason when I'm wearing this, toddlers just want to lay up on me and take a nap. <laughs> I don't know if their grandmama <laughs> wear this perfume. Maybe that's why. Maybe this has like a comforting maternal smell to it. But whenever I wear this around kids, they just want me to hold them and they want to take naps on me. And they've even said, Miss mm, Allison, you smell good. So I get compliments on this, <laughs> but from little children. <laughs> and um, I guess that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> then on Saturday, I'm going to wear these two, but one in the morning and one in the afternoon. So this is... Okay, so that's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. I have never owned a light blue perfume. No, I take that back. I was gifted light blue years ago. It didn't quite blend well with my chemistry. It just seemed to have no effect as if I wasn't wearing perfume. But then when my sister tried it on her, she loved it, so I gave it to her. But then afterwards, I was just hearing everybody and their mother waxing poetic about light blue. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't have given it away. Maybe I should have just kept trying. But when I went and tried out light blue, it still didn't really work for me. But light blue forever works really well for me. The only thing is that it lasts no more than four hours on me. It smells really good. It smells summery, fresh, citrusy without smelling like cleaner. The, and again, the only problem is that it doesn't last that long. So because it doesn't last that long, I'm gonna wear this in the morning on Saturday, like get up, take a shower, put this on, chill around the house. Nope, that's not what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a shower Friday night and I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> that's what I'll do. I wear this Friday night just for myself. And then in the morning on Saturday, when I get up to go anywhere, I'm going to get this and this is Burberry Brit Rhythm Floral EDT for her. This one, even though it's an EDT, actually lasts a really long time. I just can't smell it after a while, but I know it lasts because whenever I wear this, I get compliments throughout the day. People will be standing in line behind me and just go, what are you wearing? It smells really good, especially if I'm somewhere like a department store other women will ask me what I'm wearing so they can basically see if they want to find it and buy it that day so that's what I'm gonna wear Saturday afternoon so this is my collection for the week and this is my display let me know which one do you like better do you like it when the perfumes are just in the box or do you like it when I have them out of the box or do you think I should keep them out of the box, but also remove the box from the display? Let me know. Alrighty, thank you.